in the garage should be working, but we're gonna take a quick break and do a little ditty video talking about the difference between a Milwaukee tool from Amazon or a Milwaukee tool from Home Depot. Is there a difference? There are no authorized sellers on Amazon. As you guys know, if you've researched this, uh, Home Depot is an authorized seller. So the thing here is you don't get any kind of warranty if you buy one from Amazon. But if you guys use Milwaukee tools, you'll know you generally don't need a warranty. Like I beat the heck out of mine and never have an issue. $107 on Amazon and e or, uh, Home Depot, $200 plus tax on both. I'm like, that's just such a crazy price difference. This is the 2880-20. So all I'm gonna do in this video is take a look at the packaging and open them up and see if they, everything looks identical. We'll start with weighing them real quick. I uh, apologize if you know this video is kind of just not refined very much. So let's see what we got. We got five pounds, 5.1 ounce on the Home Depot one. I marked it, geez, I put like a tiny little, there it is, HD. Just picked it up today. And over here we are, five pounds, 4.6 ounces on the Amazon one. Okay, I don't know. Now, as far as the packaging goes, I mean, it is dead on. There's a sheen. Everything looks perfect. I suppose now that I'm looking through the camera, this one might have a deeper red. I don't know. What do you guys think? Otherwise, everything, I looked over, everything looks the same. Now, I wasn't able to look at the UPC on here. I'll have to peel that off, but they put, the Amazon one kind of has this, like, uh, tough to get off sticker covering the UPC and I'm guessing the reason they do this is because they don't want you buying this and then returning it to Home Depot uh, So there's that but it does have The part number and serial number which I covered up the end because I don't know I'm not sure what kind of tricks are out there uh, This all looks identical and I I did Slit this open the other day, but I didn't open the package yet just because I was like, you know what? No, let me get this on video. We'll see if there's any differences between the two. So, over here, we have the identical piece of tape. Check it out. That cut, oh, let me get you a better view. Uh, yeah, there's the cut on the tape, Amazon one. And look at that, identical. Uh, now, this. Home Depot, the official authorized seller one, does have a big piece of plastic, clear plastic over there. You see it? Doesn't have it on this one. And when she took this off the shelf, I don't usually buy home, uh, tools at Home Depot, but I noticed they had this covered up with a sticker and then she took it off and scanned it. So I believe you, know, you couldn't return this one anyway because they're going to check that the serial number is the same. They don't want you buying from an unauthorized. Anyway, let's get the tripod, open these up. We're gonna start on the Amazon one. Hopefully I get you in frame. Uh, my main concern is the quality of the same. Is it the same tool? Like, how are they getting them? I don't know. Is it off the back of a, a truck robbery? That's not cool if that's the case. Or is it just uh, from the same factory? in China and, and the guy selling them just doesn't pay an arm and a leg to be an authorized seller. That's, uh, I'm sorry if I'm kind of rambling or some of this stuff, you guys don't care. Hopefully, you know, you guys will see everything and I'll see everything and we won't miss anything. So off the rip, this one's got some plastic around there. That's what the Amazon one, we're gonna be, keep the Amazon on the left the whole time. And over here, yeah, same plastic, looks the same. You guys see anything different? No. Okay, here we go. Pulling out the Home Depot one. Oh, I'm gonna get this all mixed up, aren't I? Come on. Okay. $100 difference here, everybody. Go and, and so far the packaging seems to be identical. Identical. But with these knockoffs, it's like I don't know they still sell for so much money these days that uh, it's got to get good. Do you know these all mixed up, aren't they? Oh, Amazon on the left. Here's what you're looking like. Of course, my serial numbers 
sitting out there. Okay, the serial numbers are different looking, different font. I'll have to get you a close up on that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, we're looking, looking absolutely the same. I just spent several minutes looking these over and cannot find any differences except for the serial number. And you see on the Amazon one, that's what that looks like. Covered up the end of it. And sorry about the blurry camera. Over here on the Home Depot authorized seller one. That's what that looks like. It's uh, just thinner letters. That's all. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with this one. It looks official and fine, but uh, they're just slightly different. Now, let's weigh them real quick and see. Uh, I guess we could go full tilt and take them apart and see if all the components are the same. But... Oh, three pounds, 5.2 ounces over on the Amazon one, and three pounds, 5.5. So two ounces more on the Home Depot one. Let's just go back here. That should be 5.2 ounces. Yeah, so that shows the accuracy, consistency, should I say, of the scale. And I mean, I was doing the wiggle test on the switch, listening and feeling the switches. Spring action, all feels the same. Let's put a battery in. You got a 3.0, let's give them each a listen. Amazon. It's got the rapid stop. And here goes the Home Depot one. And it's either on or off on these. They did both have identical paperwork, including a little sweepstakes code to enter on their website. I entered the Amazon one, and it seemed to go through. Wait, that Amazon. Was spelled wrong. So, stop it. <laughs> Detective Brown in the house. <laughs> did I get you for a second? No. no. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> but that is something I would miss in a video. Luckily, we have some viewers watching that will let us know if I missed anything. Uh, both of these ports down on the bottom, they're uh, loosey-goosey. I've taken the heads off. So we could take a peek inside. I need to look at the copper windings on the Amazon and the Home Depot. That two-ounce difference could easily be maybe one had a few more windings or something. Uh, we don't have a control, two of these from Home Depot, to really be able to to check that. And then the, the heads, this is the writing on the Amazon one. It, ball bearing, oh, it does have a brand on it. HGH, looks all good. Home Depot, similar writing. And the bearing is, I think it's the same manufacturer. Yeah, looks like the same thing, H. Something. I don't know how well you can see it. All you see is the grime in my fingernails. So that's going to conclude this. Uh, oh, I guess let's see if there's, what the weight difference is. On Home Depot, one pound, 6.6 6 ounces. And one pound, 6.6 6 ounces on Amazon. And so it must be the head. It, Home Depot is one pound, 14.7 ounces. Amazon. One pound, 14.5. So that's that two ounce difference. It's not the copper windings in the motor. It's uh, something within the head. And there's no missing parts on either of them. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys decide whether you would buy one on Amazon or not. I think I'll keep the Amazon one and return that to Home Depot. But don't think about swapping the tools out. Because I'm sure when you go to Home Depot, they'll pull that out and check that uh, serial number that it match matches the box. And again, I showed you how they... they throw this label from Amazon right on top of the UPC. I, I think they probably do that for a reason, and it's one of those non-peelables. So, no warranty, good tool. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching.